Hey guys, Shaber1000 here, and this is another short episode of Flea Market Finds. What's in the box? Stay tuned, let's find out. Okay guys, we're back. First thing I wanted to show you, I don't know if you can see this or not. See that? Yeah, I broke my new phone. Yeah. Cracked the screen. I had it in my pocket. I think either my key or my lighter did that. So, I don't know guys. I do have um, insurance on it, but of course, guess what? I'm paying $7 a month for insurance, but to replace that phone, it's going to cost me $75. The phone itself is only $150. And they're, and they're talking, well, that's just a fraction of the price. Define fraction. I could see paying $15, $20 deductible, but 50%, I mean, my last phone did everything this one does, and it was only $100. So it looks like they're going to snag me for another phone. It's a matter of principle. That's not insurance. That's just price gouging. Either way, anyhow, guys, Flea market finds here. First, you know, I got me some, you know, I do a lot of cooking for monkey and stuff. I love to cook. So, I got me, uh, you know, some cloves of garlic here. One, two, three, four, five in there. So, they were only a buck. What the hell, right? So, maybe that means I might be able to do a, uh, get some gadgets to do uh, for garlic. Mincing garlic and stuff like that. Who knows? We'll see. But anyway, what's in the box, guys? Let's see here. Uh, turn you up there a little bit. I can't see the screen. Okay, but anyhow, guys. Maybe I'll we'll have to take you back. Whoops. Back down here. Okay, right there. All right. I got this. I was looking at something that is in this box. Okay. Let's open the box up. Open it up upside down. Here's what we got. We got a flask here. Now I wasn't too much interested in the flask. It is it's very it's very very cool though. It does say American trucker on it. So does that. It's got a picture of again this stupid camera. Got a picture of a semi on it and the lighter. Was well, you know interested in the lighter because I mean how often am I going to use this flask, you know? Um, but it, it's still pretty cool. It's stainless steel. So what the heck, right? So anyway, it's just neat to have. Uh, it needs cleaned up. Who cares about that? Because what I was really interested in was the lighter. So I was looking at it. And the lighter is pretty cool. It is, I can't read what kind it is. I'm not sure of the name brand. Uh, too much light glaring off of it. It's so shiny. It's got a big number on it. I'm not sure, but I, I, I like the, uh, you know, the Zippo style lighters, so, you know, I got it for that because I thought it was cool, and my lighters, anything I buy like this, I will use, and it also says born to be free right over top of the semi, and there's an eagle on it, and it's got the same logo on I was looking at it, I thought, I said, look, honey, this, one, this one's got a lighter with it, guy says, uh, two dollars for that. He said they'll clean up. They got you know oil on them, which they will. Um, like I said, I really wouldn't care much about the flask. I said two dollars. He said yeah for the flask and that in the box. Two bucks. He says the guy's got a bunch of them, you know, in stock. He's just you know trying to get people deals. So yeah, it's a cheapo lighter, but um, you know who cares, right? For two dollars. Let's see what is it? It's in. S U G R S T. I don't know. I'd have to look at it a little better. But uh, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be worth two bucks. You know what the hell, right? So anyway, so that's the first thing. I only got two things now. Monkey got uh, three three sundresses for twenty bucks. Well, it was eighteen, and I uh, see, you know, it's made in China, so it's just a cheap thing. But still, two dollars. I like lighters. 
the monkey got a uh, three dresses for 18 bucks they charged her they just said 20 because of tax but and she liked them one of them's real pretty it's like a tie-dyed red white and blue cover very nice well they're all pretty but here's an ad seen on tv product which we're going to get to i'm going to do a review so the next video you'll see after this one will be a review of this it's a dash cam dash cam pro you know these things I don't know it's as seen on TV look how small that screen is <laughs> and it's uh, you know like it says here this is a uh, night mode well that's not night vision guys that's just these it just lights up that's it so anyway it's recorded because uh, monkey she sees a lot of weird stuff a lot of accidents and stuff because she's always on the road and um, so you know I thought what the heck 20 bucks let's give it a shot and it'll give me a couple videos to make so the next video will be done on this camera right here so it's an as seen on tv product which i have a couple more of them to do as well but um so it's it's pretty cool it's supposed to come with everything it will hold a 32 gig memory card which we had bought right over there um so we're just we're going to see we're going to see what it's all about so next video we will do and I'll tell you what I will do an unboxing on it and uh, then then you know I'll um, cut to a clip of, of trying this out um, you know set it up in the truck or something and we'll see what it looks like and so maybe drive around a block or something I'll take the truck around a block or something and we'll see you know and so it's got a mode where you know when you start your vehicle it'll come on it will record 12 or 14 hours continuous so you know it'll just keep recording over and over again until you find something that you want and then you take the memory card out or whatnot you know import it on your computer whatever cloud whatever you do uh, i just always import them on the pc and um go from there but it'll if you know nothing happens it just keeps recording so that's cool you don't have to remember to hit record and all that it's just recording so that's going to be cool so awesome so i'm going to get off of here but those are two and uh today's saturday the 14th uh, it's 456 um so i'm gonna get these videos up tonight at least these two so when I say tomorrow, it's going to be Sunday. Tomorrow morning, we're, we're going to go to another big flea market that we really like. It's over in Leesburg, Florida. So we're going to go there. They have a lot of more like outside stuff. Like th This place we went to is nice and it's huge, but th they mostly have new stuff. You know, all the vendors and stuff. There are some stuff outside that, that people will, you know, that are selling used um, stuff like I would be interested in. I'll call it junk or rusty gold you know whatever stuff i like uh, but there wasn't too many outside today because it's so hot so maybe tomorrow at the bigger one we can find something to put that little briggs and stratton engine on something from that era and see but so we're going there tomorrow so but i'm sure we'll find something to buy and uh there'll be another one up tomorrow night hopefully or monday whatever but anyway so let's um let's quit chatting here i'm gonna get off here and i'm gonna do an unboxing and um, I'll put the memory cord in, we'll take it out of the truck, and we'll try it out. Okay, guys? So, that being said, remember, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.